Welcome to this lecture on LTE security where we'll provide you an overview of 4G security. In the LTE attach lectures we have already learned that a mobile communicates through a base station through the uh, to the core network and in the core network the main entities that the mobile communicates with is on the user plane that means to provide its uh, IP packets it communicates through the serving or a packet gateway which then communicates out to the internet and this is where the IP packets or the user plane of the user goes through. But in order to set up this user plane and to control how the user plane is being used, we have the mobility management entity, the MME. And the mobile has signaling connections with the MME and it is having a connection with the MME. It also has a signaling connection with the base station which is called the radio resource control and the connection with the MME is called the non-access stratum and so we will be covering in this lecture how these signaling connections are secured and also how the data plane connection is secured uh, between the UE and the network and here security we will cover the two main aspects there of um, of confidentiality or encryption and integrity protection and we'll provide an overview of what it is. If this is not what you're looking for, I uh, guess time for you to change your channel into something else that is that would uh, satisfy your curiosity. So as we move on, what we will cover in these lectures are, is that we will start from the very focus where the mobile lands up into the very into the network and the very first thing when somebody comes to you or into a system you authenticate the 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 subscriber or you authenticate the user and here authentication means asking for a proof of of identifying who the this user is so for example over here you have an id card which is issued by the school or by the government that identifies you so we will see how the network what proof the mobile needs to provide to the network that to to show who the mobile really is um, the other part of it that that does come into place authorization which is related to the aspect of of allowing the user to use the appropriate services for example whether the user is allowed to use the internet or whether the user is allowed to use voice or what's called Volte voice over LTE whether the user is allowed to use these services or also to the point whether the user is allowed access to the network from certain areas so all of that comes under authorization so once you authenticate the UE you then authorize the UE to use the appropriate services and in order to do all of that, you want to make sure that the messages that are transmitted between the mobile and the network are have been provided the confidentiality. And here typically what we mean by confidentiality is able to encrypt the, the messages and or also which is called the ciphering of the messages so the the messages are encrypted in such a way that if there is an adversary listening on the air it's not able to find out what these messages are or to gain further information from from these messages um, by uh, from these messages uh, another aspect of the security which we will cover is called message integrity protection here the main concept is that it should not be possible for an adversary to change the information that is being sent to change the uh, one to a zero and be and and go unnoticed so if any change is made then the receiving party would know that there has been a change made to the message for example if the message was saying send me hundred dollars you want to make sure that this message cannot be modified such that it becomes send me ten thousand dollars or even worse instead of send me send mike 
ten thousand dollars that's even worse so in order to make sure that uh, that if these messages is modified if me becomes mike then the receiver knows that this is not a valid message coming from from the subscriber going on we would also co cover some aspects of user identity confidentiality and here just think about the scenario that that of, of Princess Diana and a bunch of uh, Princess Diana and a bunch of paparazzis who are trying to find out where Princess Diana are so that they can go there and take photographs. So the the main idea of the system is to make sure that the identity of the of the user is not made available to anybody who's snooping around and finding out whether. Uh, whether this person is in this area or not i mean consider the most the more dangerous case of whether whether people want to find out if 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 the prime minister or the president is in a certain area by snooping in to figure out if the identity which identifies the uh, the prime minister is is in in a particular area but uh, of course the a more difficult problem is to provide uh, anonymity or user identity confidentiality to Princess Diana. So look at it from that perspective.